Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel guys. This is Brad and I'm taking a look at the Mototech 2000 watt 60 volt fat tire. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to let you know what I like and dislike about it. I did take my first stride on it so it is charging. For starters we're going to look at the simple display which shows you your battery status as well as whether you have your lights on and off. Um, which are only turned on by a second switch of the key. I know a lot of people struggle to turn those on. There's no button or anything. It's just one key. You turn it once, it rings, turns on this ring, which is very pretty actually, and then you turn it on the second time and you get this headlight, which brings me to a point here. I just recently had to loosen this. Even though I took it on for a full ride, I realized that the adjustment screws right here come in completely loose from the factory so it's worth pointing out that you may want to tighten those up I'm having a hard time getting my camera to focus but you had to unscrew this and move it back so that you can get access to these four screws right here there's two of them there's two more on the other side and uh, those will stop your handlebar from moving around because when you get it out the box I know a lot of people think it comes open but no you get this one bolt that you have to do and that has uh, no adjustability whatsoever it just slaps right in so all your adjustment is done up here where you have to undo this uh, from these two screws right here in order to get to these and there's two more on the front to adjust it another thing worth pointing out is uh, you may want to get some mirrors I got a carbon fiber finish look <laughs> on some mirrors that actually uh, make it give it a pretty decent look altogether. Um, kind of matches the floorboard. I thought it'd be a carbon fiber finish. I do really love the leather on the seat they have here. It's uh, very, very plush leather, I would say. <laughs> um, the tires are very grippy, very fat, very fun to ride, but you're going to have a hard time steering it. Um, it's very long and it's very small and wide uh, so it's not gonna turn very pretty you have to throw all your body weight towards the angle that you're turning and with those fat tires it's still not gonna lean that direction if you turn it it's gonna lean the other way so it's not like a bicycle where you get a big tire and you can just kinda lean into your turns now this these tires are sh small and fat and uh, it's very hard to turn but on the plus side is no matter what terrain I took it on, no matter what speed, accelerating, decelerating, never lost grip or even felt like losing grip. This thing has mad grip on every terrain. Um, which brings me back to the front fork. I've had one person say that the front fork had broke on them after a while of using it though. and. Um, I haven't seen any others, but it is rather concerning. There is no suspension on the front fork. It doesn't bother me in the ride, but you can definitely feel like something's taking the beating every time you hit something on that front tire. feels like it just shakes, sends a shock through the entire front. <laughs> so that's kind of worth noting as well. Tires do come um, pumped up. The battery came juiced up. Uh, because we are here in America and Mototech is a Wisconsin based company so it's nice to support the locals and the benefit is they don't have to fly it to you so they don't have to drain your battery you get to take it out on a ride when you're still excited um, I did have a lot of stickers to take but it's worth complaining that look at that the, the, st the clear stuff doesn't uh, they put it on before they assembled the thing everything seems to have come bagged so I can't, I can't get this stuff out, this is like one with the unit now. Um, got under the brakes, is none there, so I heard somebody say there's some under the brakes. Not for me, not for me. Um, does have a very nice loud horn. It's a little high pitched too, so it gets animals out of your way. <laughs> animals don't like high pitched noise. Some people are wondering where the charging is done. Here's my charging port. It's actually a very, very nice, convenient charging setup. It has a little spring-loaded flap, I say. And you stick in your port right there. Also looks like 
the wiring is done right here. I'll trace that wire back and it goes into your tire and that's how the magic is done. I hate to spoil the magic for you guys but that's where it is. Your fat tire is juiced up right here. That's where the 2000 watts flow in from. Um, another weird thing is that no matter how far down I adjusted the headlight, it's still facing like up in the air. Um, and I can't move it down any further because my hand is touching when I try to turn the key. And it's very uncomfortable. So this is as low as I can get in. It's like looking up there. So not sure how that's going to turn out at night. I ended up running out of battery way too soon. I don't know if it's ran out of battery sooner than I expected or if I'm just having too much fun on it, but it felt like it ran out and I was gonna point out that your hydraulic brakes are amazing. I'm talking phenomenal. I am in love with these brakes. You can see how much fluid you got and as you can tell, they actually put a little less fluid on the front brake so that you don't eat fly forward because you're not gonna front flip in this thing no way it's way too heavy for that but you could eat shit if you hit the brake really hard you're gonna fly right off this thing so do be do, do be gentle on the brakes they put the rear brake separate so that in emergency situations you're you're up playing with your throttle you're very like unlikely to reach with the same hand for the throttle you're much more likely to reach for this brake pad, uh, pedal I mean, or whatever you want to call it, lever. <laughs> this brake handle right here is going to be the one that's going to the rear, which is nice. They separated your throttle, your rear brake, and then they put the front brake in front of the throttle because you're not going to let go and reach for that. You're going to reach for this one first. Um, any other pointers? The build quality is pretty great. I've heard a lot of people complain about this floorboard. It's just a freaking floorboard, man. This thing gets so dirty. I mean, I'm the one who's going out everywhere, parks and stuff, but this thing's gonna get dirty, and it's very, very easily interchangeable. There's a ton of aftermarket options for this, because as you may know, this chassis and frame is um, probably bought off by a Chinese manufacturer or something, because they're everywhere. There are all kinds of different companies that make them. We have a few local dealers ourselves that make this but this it's like a little rubbery grippy stuff i'm actually i'm actually very satisfied and perfectly fine with that they did a very minimal look with only one two three four five screws when i've seen all the other ones that my buddies have and whatnot they're just mad screws riveted up and down the thing because they use a very very cheap plasticky thing whereas this right here it's got a nice rubber thing it looks like something you'd put it out front of your house just a little thinner I like a little welcome mat. So it's a good material. It's a little rubbery material. Um, and the texture right here, this actually changes based on the angle you're looking at it from. So it's a cool texture. It's got make some noise if you run your nails on it. So that's it. I'm going to wait for this thing to charge so we can take it out again. My next goal now that I've added the mirrors put them in like this so that they have a, a sleek finish to them and I'm just trying to make this thing look as sleek as I can I'm getting a chrome digital speedometer it's gonna also measure how far I'm gonna travel that way we can get some stats would you guys be interested in seeing that in the video I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install a bicycle speedometer on this and find a way we're gonna work together to find a way to fit it on these fat tires I'm actually hoping I can get it on the back tire because I'd really like to see how far I'm spinning the tire, even if it's not getting traction. Even though I don't think that's going to happen, I'd rather get a more accurate read out the back than actually know how fast I'm going. I'm more interested in the motor speed. So we'll set that up. We're going to go ahead and, and see if we can either get it in right there. Maybe I'll have it stick out right here, circular, facing me. Maybe have it come out like this with an arm and have it it's it's gonna look exactly like the headlight it has a black finish and the front of the dial has a shiny chrome ring just like that where the dial is gonna sit right in the middle 
it's circular it's very pretty let me know if you guys want to see that installed I bought it off Walmart so I can show you guys where to get it all these including the scooter all came off of Walmart so shout out to Walmart and Bello shops who did an amazing job sending this to me I do appreciate all their work uh, Bello shops took very good care of it sent it out here through Walmart and I did get a warranty and all so it's gonna be a fun toy <laughs> actually more than a toy it's gonna be my commuter so I'll go ahead and end this video here again if you recall I did mention on my Mototech video that I'd install a circular digital speedometer unfortunately I did have to return the Mototech for a defective battery as well as a leaky brake so I'm not gonna be doing that anytime soon so I figured I'd at least show you what the circular speedometer would be um, so that you guys can go and grab one I also found it on Walmart so it's got some good features and uh, it would uh, be programmable to work on there uh, once you find a way to fit it on the tire which is what my video is going to be about but uh, just like a bicycle it should be easy to install so I hope this uh, is a good idea for you guys thanks again for watching and following my channel guys I appreciate everything give it a like if you want to see more about the fat tire scooter if you want to see the nitty gritty details the build quality I mean it's got a little wobble and that's because of this joint right here not because of the adjustment it's a little interesting that I wrote it out without adjusting it um, or without tightening those adjustment bolts at all I'm talking they were completely loose I could turn them with my finger back here so this handlebar is completely loose and I couldn't even tell so the build quality is interesting there are some very good things very nice rugged metals and very nice engineered chassis but uh, as far as the steering eh, I'm a little iffy on that I'm still getting used to it though um, oh another thing worth pointing out before I let you guys go check out the kickstand this thing comes with a single kickstand that you're not gonna use until the tires probably wear out look it doesn't touch the ground because this thing has fat tires it's just standing on its own does not even on it just constantly balanced <laughs> you can just pull up wherever you are and I've done it many times where I pull up full speed and just switch the key off and jump right off the thing well it's still rolling <laughs> you don't gotta worry it's just gonna stop standing uh, and uh, bring it forward a bit still charging <laughs>